Well, hello there. My name is Sundance Heather and my playoffs go so long. Today, we shall take part in the Justice Festival festivities. Justice Festival is a yearly occurrence that happens at the end of March, early April. It lasts for about a week and is closely followed by other kinds of festivities. Let's log in with Rianiel Ross, my stamina like plate vampire. Really is wearing a disguise today. <clears throat> she likes to pretend to be. Or thinks she's not such as a Kashyyyk and a ferocious battle. We have finished researching all sorts of things. Oh, I have a crown crate. Because I watched a stream yesterday. No, let's start by opening that. Fortune favor you, my friend. An excellent selection. Do we get anything good? Oh, oh, bonus reward. Ooh, ah. potion. Wow, Mystic Steel. Ooh, experience card. Wow, Elixir. Ooh, Your potion. Your are gone, my friend. But there are always oh. a deep farewell, my good friend. So, in order to get started with Justice Festival. All you need is to travel to any impresario's tent. One is located here, and one here, and one here. They're basically everywhere. And you can also pick up a quest starter from the crown store. We shall travel to Glenumbra to pick up our first quest. So during the Justice Festival, <clears throat> you can find Daily quests in three locations. Completing the first one grants you three event tickets, and you can use those to buy all sorts of goodies from the other side. During the Justice Festival, you get double experience from pretty much everything you do. That experience boost doesn't need to be like activated it's automatically granted and it stacks with both experience scrolls and training gear a festival for jesters and the like fools to. i see are those in the audience no, but I'm no one don't these idiots know how to indulge i meant to take you to the impresario stand <clears throat> sorry So there is no quest to start here. Well, not to worry. <clears throat> we shall pick that up. <clears throat> From the crown star. Quest, quest starters are always free, so... So, don't hesitate to use that. The Justice Festival starter quest encourages us to speak with either Chester King Joan, Chester Queen Erin, or Chester King Emmerich. They can be found in Glenumbra, close to Daggerfall. Stonefalls, close to the Brothers of Strife, Way Shrine, and 
Oriton, Gloucester, or Calcutta. Let's first speak with the impresario and see what she has to offer. Treat with me, look over my goods and give. And as usual, we are drinking cup. And the impresario offers us style pages, which are actually kind of cool. I'm scared. You can also purchase guild, guild commendations for your companions and fragments for for um moving the Molag Ball illusion in pets and also pieces for that. We can also purchase group repair kits and pieces for the Justice Festival Dart Roll suit. I already have that. And I have 12 tickets, so I need to buy something instead. This piece I already have, so I need to purchase these two in order to get Blaine Melt's Master Markings. Let's start with incandescent brimstone. There we go. And also, what do I have in so? That's what it smells like, Mr. Why? Oh yes, I was in, um, Berkshire Caverns, long of the Natchez Touch set, hence Natchez pieces. Now, to Chester King, I wonder if this is ever. There once was a Why, man yes, named Isramor. Who found his homeland a boar? So he conjured his art and let out a fart <gasps> that filled his sails to faraway shores. Come, the realm needs a champion, and you happen to be standing here, so I dub thee my hero in the making. What are we celebrating? Well, if you must know, it's a celebration in honor of my rival rulers, the Festival of Fools. Daggerfall is a center of cultural exchange, even backwards silly idiot culture. It'll all be quite fun, I assure you. How do I join in? If you stripped to your small clothes and paraded through town, I'd call it a good start. Goodness. And thus we complete the starter quest. It was short and silly, just like most things during the Chester's Festival. Come, the realm needs a champion, and you happen to be standing here, so I dub thee my hero in the making. How may I be of service? My superstitious queen has confiscated my array of royal magisters. The only illusionary dazzlers fit for a king. I can't impress my subjects with just any common prestidigitation. It would be trivial to whip up more with the right ingredients. Where can I find these ingredients? There are some, um, local attractions that should have what I'm looking for, but they're no place for royalty. If you would risk venturing out on my behalf, I'll ensure you play a key role in today's festivities. I will find you what you need, my king. Good luck finding everything on my list. I don't know that we've ever had a fatality at the Jester's Festival, but if you are the first, I'll make sure your name lives on in appropriate ignominy. Well, let's try not to <clears throat> die. You can find a couple of containers close to the event tent, and in those containers, you sometimes find recipes and such. I already know. 
you can also find two other deities. Samuel Goron, who this guy has a different kind of task for us. And here we can find a note called a book most poor kind. Let's examine those once we have completed our current mission. Oops. First up is Elysian Tower, where we can find glowing in it dust, right? Bone dust, close. In order to find that, we need to either kill a couple of enemies or collect a container. Um, one enemy drops one dust and one dragonfire crystal drops four dragonfire dust. Now we have four so we can exit and continue on to our next location. This quest requires you to visit two delves close to that ball. Both are relatively easy, like enemy-wise, and from the three daily quests, this is the only one where you need to actually kill something. The others are just plain Oh, I forgot. As we are completing Jester's festival quests, we might as well look the part. I got this last year and it's by far my favorite costume. So, next location is... Silum. On the other side of Dagapol. Traveling to Dagapol A Shrine might be the easiest way to... Reach the delve. Jumping up here is a risky thing to do, especially if you are a stage vampire like I am. Yesterday I almost died with that, so I want to jump Today? And was far. Here we need to collect any bomb dust. Did I get the materials confused? I probably most likely did. Let's try to ignore that. Let's see if we can find more enemies this way. That's it. Oh, 
green. Eventually, let's spot. Perhaps waiting is the sensiblest option here. Find containers to loot here. Barrels, sacks, and crates most often hold ingredients for crafting provision recipes. <gasps> Present right well, storm grain is now available to scrap. I don't think I've seen that before. There we go. Now we can return to the chest again and... The easiest way is, of course, to just pay a little bit of gold and fast travel directly to a wage line, but I wanted to show you how to get to being just a king without using any gold. The way is a little bit confusing, you need to swim across the water here and then run underneath all the bridges here and then up the hill. If it's not worth my time, keep moving. Has the unthinkable happened? <gasps> we need to go feed quickly. What? Where can we find dinner? You wish to suffer my wrath? Thwarted by my own queen in front of the other royalty. I can't be the laughing stock in my own kingdom. I have your ingredients, Majesty. Aha! The day is saved! No one will question who wears the crown in my court after this. I promised you a key role in the festivities today, and I am a man of my word. I hereby entrust you with the honor of putting my royal prowess on display. What does that entail? Take my illusion dazzlers to some suitably crowded locations in the city and give them a good shake and toss. My majestic creations will do the rest. I can handle that. Perfect. Give me a moment to work my magic and I'll have you on your way with the finest flashing flourishes in the land. As you wish, sir. Stand back and let your majesty make magic. A pinch of this, a dash of that. Give it a shake. <laughs> <coughs> Voila! Yeah. Your dazzlers, my faithful subject. And now we can 
pick up an entirely safe sack full of emotion dazzlers. And also weapons. No need to use the illusion, illusion dazzlers in three locations across the city. We start from up here. I'm also trying to keep an eye In the name out of the king. for an NPC to use Sparkle Duster. Use Cross Duster. Use Flash Duster. This is all rather flashy. Next location at the docks. More hand side. In order to get there, you can just run toward the quest marker and hop over a fence. And then up. Use past this and flash this. The last location is very close by. Speak to Chester King Emery. And this step completes the first quest. Captain Thayer certainly found a bumper crop of I usually start from this towns. one because no it's the did. longest and requires you to like well run around the most. The two other this quests are compared to this relatively fast to complete. Have I gotten myself turned around and misplaced? Oh, yes, I have. This one has forged a humorousness oh. for you, fair queen. Oh my, That's you shouldn't have. Let's hear it. What do you call a Bosmer who arbors eating his neighbors? I... What? Dinner! Uh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, you really shouldn't have. My <clears throat> I thought I heard the raucous cheers and playful pops of my handiwork echoing throughout the city. Tell me it was more than my imagination. Your people loved the Basilisk's majesty. Well, of course. In my experience, my loyal subjects adore being showered in the affections of their king. Oh, uh, don't share that with the queen. Okay. I'd say our work here is done. There are other kingdoms in desperate need of our merrymaking talents, and I won't be one to let them down. Well, you pet it. Off to Ebernhardt for a royal roast. There's only one thing I trust Yorin's expertise in, and that's eating. You should join us as a guest of honor. I will see you in Ebernhardt then. Best not to be found conspiring against my wife anymore today. Easier to deny having ever met you when you're not standing right there, you understand. But if she happens to corner you, take our secret to the grave for your liege. Alright, I will. I have 
forgotten to share with you daily endeavors. Today's daily endeavors encourage us to sell 20 items to merchants and one event ticket. Craft five items with the enchanting skill. Kill one player in Cyrodiil or complete one tribute match. Now, let's speak with Sam. Ah, you here to enjoy the hilarity provided by that King Emmerich? Uh, between the two of us, I wish I could say their dribble improves with copious intoxicants, but it hasn't so far. <laughs> what would you say to helping me bring in some new talent? What kind of new talent? Well, jokes about swines and passing wind don't count as entertainment. Not for a whole festival. We need music. Dancing. It's something uh, raucous. Oh, I have the perfect minstrels in mind. If you handle recruitment, I'll prepare the stage. Why can't you go and find these minstrels? Unfortunately, my talents are better served here. These minstrels are worth your effort, though. Their music is out of this realm. And I always pay those who help me make Tamriel more decadent. So, will you help me improve this dreary festival? All right, I will gather the minstrels. Take these. That's a list of exclusive vintages, along with directions to where I left them, and a rune of compulsion. Gather the wine, and then you can summon and corral these fiery musicians. Go! Bring us music! Let's. This quest requires us to find three performance. 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 To the festival. Best one can be found here. Should we go there first? Let's do that and after completing this quest we can also pick up the well, most or kind. First insight. Ferocious that vampire needs to beat. But... I wonder which way shrine would take us closer to our destination. Let's try this one. to enter Dresden Keep Tower and find 
one. There it is. Left root rose. Place the wine in the summoning circle outside. Another ferocious dog. Gather. Next up is located in a vast nest. This actually brings us to the was it third or second? Yes, second. Second festival quest location. Wondering what would be the sensiblest order to finish the quests. Perhaps we'll go to Mathala's nest and then speak with the next daily quest giver. We must. Yeah, why no disappoint that? <clears throat> This wasn't the most convenient route. So don't do as I did, but take the easy way. Here we need to find another. Since we need to search the entire delve, everybody else is going this way, so let's go. Has it always played us? Oh, I can see our wine. Uh, spiders in also are very, very realistic. Complete that. Find spider venom wine. You can find the Dell boss here, but as it is currently down, I don't think wait. 
Instead, we'll go outside and summon up second instrument. of the <clears throat> sun on my eye sock. I really, really like that set. Um, really recommend trying it. Summoning circle. The summoning circle is a little bit inconveniently placed, I think. I don't often criticize the decisions made by ESO developers, but here I will. Now, let's go to the festival tent and what's happening there. Pop and run. Also, I need more coffee. Yeah. Everybody is here. I'll pack you right around here so we can Admire people's costumes. Now, speak with just the king. Just. His meatiness, Scald King Yorin, recognizes your flashiness from his visit to Daggerfall. What other tricks do you have up your skeeves, this one wonders? Do you need a trickster, too? Just so. I am heartsick without my betrothed. <gasps> what good oh is all this food and drink without the one you love to pick it from your teeth? But I am forbidden to see my bride-to-be until the day of our vowels. How can I help? Free her from her minders. 
so we may grow fat together. Take a token of my love, the sickly sweet brownish flesh of mud crab apples, and she will know I sent you. The guard cannot know their king made the absencing of his bride. Use cautiousness. As you wish, Majesty. This one's overlarge heart tramples in anticipation of seeing his bride to be. So now we need to. Steal what crab apples. That's an easy task, and... We should get through it. Well, no problem. Now to find Joran's fiancé. In order to do that, we need to run to the city and to the Argonian camp on the other side. And here we find Princess, who we need to beat mud crab apples to. This causes Princess to hey, act as where's my a pig? Who took my pig? temporary companion. She will follow us wherever we, ever we go, unless we stray from the death or given path. Now we need to get back to Joran without being caught. If you go through the city, you will be intersected by the butcher who will... It's been a bit, a bit of a long time since I last met the butcher. I think it causes you to fail the quest or whatever. We shan't do that, but instead we shall go around the city. And this allows us to avoid any unwanted encounters with butchers or pig owners. Go behind process and soon you will find the city gates. Dash on through to what the festival tent and you will be able to complete the quest without any kinds of trouble. Oh, you have brought Joran his bride to be, or does this one's eyes see him? He is very. Toxicated. I present your princess, Majesty. Ah, she is tasteful, is she not? I could just eat her up. <coughs> Much better. Oh, gross. Your heroics have stirred my spirits. <laughs> I must savor these tenderest moments, rare as they are. Now that you have hogged all the glory here, 
I think we will be taking this party elsewhere. Will you follow our folly of fools down this onerous path? Where are you headed? <laughs> to the afterlife for great rulers! Sovereign Guard! No, wait. That is not it. Volkergaard! Queen Irene wishes to show us true cheeriness! I will see you in Volkergaard then. Today has seen enough boorish crime. You've earned your swill, so drink your fill, and leave my bride and I to some private time. Hmm? Say no more. You know, I can also pick up hey. another hey, you. one. Interested in some real Jester's Festival fun? That's ah, my partner in hilarity. Back for more pranks? Have a great one for you today. A big laugh. What kind of mischief? Pranks, of course. There's no better way to celebrate than playing harmless japes on others. I consider myself a master, but there is only one of me, and there are many people in need of a laugh. I think you have what it takes. Interested? Sure, I'll help you do some pranks. Now, what to do for next time? How about replacing someone's paint bucket with milk? The city's cats would rush over to lick the side of a house. Hmm. Maybe too expensive. And we wouldn't want the cats to get splinters. So, what's the prank? In the kit, you'll find a book I fashioned to have a surprise inside the front cover. My friend Clumbert is a scholar, and he can never resist cracking open a new tome. And when he does, poof! A face full of glitter! Where can I find Clumpert? He's usually at his stall in Skywatch. Wait for a moment when he turns to hail customers. You can probably sneak up and place the trick book on his table when he's distracted. It'll be great, I promise you. He's going to look like a torch bug. I will get the kids and find Clumpert. Take break. But we shan't go to Skywatch just yet. Instead, we shall continue with finding our minstrels. Last stop is in Ondel. A Dell in Warden. Let's go there. Find a few enemies outside the tower, but they are easily dead. And again, we need to examine the entire tower. The wine is always in the same place so once you find one you know be easy to complete the quest next day here we are Uralian Musquite. Sounds expensive. And again we need to return to the entrance in order to summon our last instrument. Well, 
popular. Can we now summon? Armas Nostro S8, scaring Armas. There we go. Now we are free to return to Emmy. Justice Festival. Inventory. Bull. Must speak with merchant. Just as festival containers at once. Anything I can do for you? Because it's not. How do we exit? Here. There we go. This dog is very close to a way shrine, so we can easily travel to our last daily quest location, which is just outside of Kalkaud. Self, my friend, the stage is set. The oblivious inebriates are gathered in befuddled groups, and the minstrels are so warmed up they're practically cooked. Time has come for merriment. What happens now? Our beautiful, beastly bards stand at the ready. All they need to launch into a mind melting performance, which will be to die for, is the signal. Can you feel it? The anticipation of a grand time? The festivities that await us? What is theme signal? The only appropriate way to start boisterous music, of course, is with a clamorous note to kick things off. Now, where is... Ah! That bell over there. That should do it. Ring the bell, stand back, and enjoy the show. You want me to ring the bell? Why not? I had the idea, the contacts, the plan, and I set the stage. But you... You fought off hordes of monsters who eschewed our festivities. You gathered our talent. If anyone here should ring the bell, it is you, my friend. Let's ring the bell then. And see what happens. Silly. That was incredible! I'm sure you've faced many foes in your time, friend, but nothing is more threatening than mediocre festivities. Even the minstrels were smiling, or as much as they ever smile. Difficult to please, that bunch. That's the entire performance. Indeed! Performance. Wasn't it fantastic? Those minstrels really rose to the occasion. 
Please, take this as my thanks and stop back anytime. Performance of that caliber demands an encore. Thank you. Look at these. Now we can speak with just a queen. Oh, you are that daring matchmaker who put a smile on Yorin's face. Perfect. I have need of a merrymaker. I heard you had a vital mission for me. I have decreed happiness, but not all of my kin share my breezy disposition, and it's putting a damper on my festivities. I won't have my fun ruined by these grumpy grumps. I need a champion to enforce my royally mandated cheerfulness. What would that entail? If these treasonous malcontents insist on harboring sticks firmly in their hindquarters, then they can at least have the decency to keep them in bloom. Ha <laughs> ha! Find the grumps in my domain and pelt them with these enchanted petals until morale improves. As you wish, Majesty. I want you to have those grumps in stitches, one way or another. This is actually my favorite of the Injustice Festival days. All we need is to toss petals and then pieces. This needs to be done needs to be done in three different locations. We will start in the furthest corner of the Volcano Garden. God is a surprisingly large area. It takes a while to run from one to the next. So much better. Now we need to run to Skywatch, where we will also find Grumbot. I like it when quests tie together like this so that they're convenient to finish. First petals and then ranking up. Smile in the name of the group. located under a small stone arm. We need to place a trick book and then wait. Oh, I haven't seen this book before. Just bit glitter. What is this? Oh, by the gods. That one got me good. <laughs> well done. Now, the last stop is to prank professors at the college. A bit of running is required. Even though this quest is like really easy and fun, there is a little bit of it's an honor a to train distance. a new generation of those heretics imposters were insults to the Thalmor tradition. But Oridon is a pretty place. 
running around isn't the most horrible thing. Yeah! Use petals. And now we can return to Chester Queen Iran. We need to return the other quest, ranking of Gloompart, to all be proud Stormfolks. Of the Let's do that. The natural quick wit and woodlands law of the Bosman will be working on. Because that location is closer to a witch. Champion of cheer returns. Have you vanquished the stubborn seriousness in my land? The crumbs have been cheered, my queen. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Delightful. It's so much nicer to rule a kingdom of happy subjects, don't you think? Well, I'm just exhausted from all this dread. Oh, sorry. But think of what mischief could be had if they were asleep. Controller misbehaved. How Let's also pick up the. Oh, most poor kind. Hear ye, hear ye. Whoever holds this prestigious invitation is cordially, cordially invited to the games at Hammerdeath Arena in the realm of Stormhaven for a trial of prowess, prestige, and poor kind pugilism. Pugilism? I don't know that word. Bring this invitation to Rosette, the Rapscallion, for an official bout with King Bor. Or just take the ham-fisted approach and crusty festivities. That's sure to be entertaining. By degree of Chester King Emmerich and his beauteous queen, let the kings begin. So. Then we need to travel to... Stone Balls and the Hunter Arena. But first, we must deliver the news of Compact being. Have a prankster partner. You understand me and the Jester's Festival in a way most don't. I'll have to think about what fun to set up for tomorrow. Hmm, maybe something with scrib jellies. Let's just say Crumpet has a new shine about him. Perfect. Glad I picked the right person for the job. I would have liked to see the look on his face for myself. But I was busy replacing someone's bath soap with Quama lard. I trust Clombert took it well. He did. He seemed in good spirits. Excellent. Another successful prank. The Jester's Festival would be nothing without this kind of fun. I thank you for joining. I'll put together another prank kit for you tonight. Come back tomorrow and I'll set you up with another. Thank you. 
And now to Hanadet Arena. Festival is a really fun event. The quests have a way of just keeping on coming, so you think the fun will last forever and ever. Sadly, it doesn't. There is a limit to the outrolling of quests. Here we find the last ones. Speak with Rosette the Rapscallion. Is that an invitation I smell? I soaked each one in bacon grease before sending them out. <laughs> right this way then. I hope you brought your apron. Between the blood, saliva and crying, well, you'll probably also need wading trousers down there. What exactly is all this? Oh, hold on, hold on. I have it written down. <clears throat> By decree of his majesty, Jester King Emmerich, the tyrannical would-be usurper, King Vor, is to be put to death in the arena. King Vor? The porcine potentate himself. Oh, don't put on a face. It's all a gag for the festival. The conjurers call up a fan to bore for the games. You're not actually killing a big, cute, bristly piggy. This is Jester's festival, not the war in Cyrodiil. So I just go into the arena and kill a giant phantom pig. You must be fun at parties. <sighs> yes, you just go over and wrestle that giant illusory pig like an idiot while we all watch. Plus, the audience ticket sales will help finance the festival expenses for years to come. Are you in or not? Yes, I will battle King Bor. By the powers vested in me, I dub thee Jester King Emmerich's champion of charcuterie. Now get in there and carve yourself a rasher. We also find another if quest. It isn't my <laughs> Jadziri knew you would be back for more. One taste of her special cider is all it takes to have patrons begging like sugar tooth. Ah, uh, this one assures you, skooma is not in her recipe. Would you care to earn more of Jadziri cider? I'll have uh, another go at it. Sure. Good, good. She thought the arena handlers were hauling especially fragrant baskets of fruit today. Ever so ripe for the picking. Provided you prevent that porker from poaching them all. Return when you've gathered as many as you can from the arena. I'll be back with your fermented mud crab apples soon. All the fermented mud crab apples you could ever want are in the baskets around the arena. Of course, you'll need this ticket to get in. And you'll have to get to them before King Boar. And you most definitely don't want to let him gulp too many down. Okay. Enter the arena, slay King Boar and collect fermented mud crab apples. Right. Sounds easy now. Actually, isn't. King Boar is a surprisingly large enemy. It's all sorts of things. Yeah. It also summons a nice boar who is very pushy. But we have gathered mud crab apples. Let's have completed one target, and then another. You heroes, you mushy spoilers. Oh, there's more. Great. Oh, 
let's first speak with Rosette B. Rapscallion. Whew! Even the swine stench is just like the real thing. You smell like you just had a bath in pig sweat and Thanks. guts. Yeah. And, well, you get the idea. I think the conjurers are having a laugh at your expense. Can I have my price now, please? Oh, right. Joy unto Tamriel, the tyrant king of pork now wallows with the dead. His haunches and horde divided among the heroic and the hungry. His head hung on high as hallmark of his hubris. Here's your cut and your cuts. They're real, I swear. Thank you. <clears throat> then, Jatzeri. Did you have any luck snatching some fermented mud crab apples out of King Boar's mouth? Yes. Here are all the apples I was able to collect. This should be juicy enough to start a new batch, though. Jadziri will need a few more helpers to keep her supply up. Drink up! Once you are refreshed, you'll be ready to bring this one twice as many apples, yes? And as we complete this quest, we also get a bottle of... Actually, two bottles of sparkling mud crab apple cider. No! Now, it is time to open our present. The most joyous time. Ooh. I don't know this yet. Let's first open the ordinary ones. Style page, room. I already know that. Recipe, princesses, delight. I already know. Just as copper, I already have ten. Another. Well, that wasn't very rewarding. What's in here? Moon box, Chester's scintillator. I already have it. Ooh, a style page. Another recipe for Princess's Delight and Jenny wasn't quick. The um, sparkling mud crab apple cider increases stamina recovery for two hours. It isn't a particularly good drink, but it is a fun one. And now, as we have completed all the quests in the Chester's Festival, I do believe the time has come to say goodbye. For now. I will return on Thursday at 2 p.m. to either do a Black Sacrament with the Rani or just exploring side quests in the Gold Coast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Ta -ha.